Imagine a city where traffic jams are a thing of the past. Commuting is a breeze, and sleek modern metro stations punctuate the skyline. Los Angeles is on the verge of realizing this vision with its $9.5 billion Metro Purple Line extension. We all know that this city was so crowded, and it was a task if you had to reach somewhere. But bringing this ambitious project to life was challenging. From financial hurdles to technical complexities, the journey to extend the Purple Line has been monumental. Engineers had to tunnel through some of LA's most geologically complex areas, while planners navigated the intricate web of funding and community concerns. Each step of the project presented a new obstacle to overcome. Los Angeles faced a $9.5 billion challenge with their ambitious Metro Purple Line extension. How did they tackle such a monumental project? Los Angeles, known for its sprawling cityscape and infamous traffic, embarked on an extraordinary mission to expand its public transportation system with the Metro Purple Line extension, also known as the D-Line. This $9.5 billion project aim to alleviate congestion and provide a more sustainable transportation option. Despite being renowned as a car-centric city, Los Angeles has long harbored dreams of mass transit, particularly along its iconic Wilshire Boulevard. In the early 1900s, Wilshire was a bustling streetcar hub until wealthy residents, worried about disruption and undesirable visitors, successfully lobbied to ban them, pushing the city towards buses. In the 1960s, LA aimed high again with plans for a futuristic monorail and a comprehensive subway system, with Wilshire Boulevard at its heart. However, voters rejected these plans, and the idea of a Wilshire subway was further dashed after a 1985 methane explosion caused public fear and halted federal funding. Today, we're discussing the Purple Line extension because technological advancements like tunnel boring machines, TBMs, have made subway construction faster and safer. These TBMs can navigate LA's complex geology while building the tunnel walls, making the long-dreamed subway under Wilshire Boulevard a reality. How did LA overcome these historical challenges and embrace modern solutions to achieve the $9.5 billion Metro Purple Line extension? Let's discuss the challenges this project faced. It was no ordinary project. It involved digging through some of the most densely populated and geologically complex areas of Los Angeles. Numerous hurdles from financial constraints to technical difficulties threatened to derail its progress. The $9.5 billion price tag raised eyebrows and concerns about the feasibility of such a grand endeavor. During its five years of tunneling, Metro encountered and triumphantly overcame numerous technical challenges, including gassy ground, tar sands, and abandoned oil wells. For instance, near the La Brea tar pits, Metro's advanced tunnel boring machines, DBMs, navigated through tar sands and employed horizontal directional drilling to probe the earth. This allowed contractors to identify and remove potential obstacles before they could damage the TBMs. Construction faced multiple halts in 2022 due to safety concerns. In March, a 40-year-old construction worker tragically lost his life when he was struck by a service vehicle used for transporting parts and personnel around the site. Work was halted again in October 2022 after numerous other workers sustained injuries. Similarly, Metro used these methods to safely identify and avoid unmapped and abandoned oil wells beneath Beverly Hills High School. Opposition to tunneling beneath Beverly Hills, including Beverly Hills High School, nearly halted the project before it even began. And police are investigating after a student at Beverly Hills High School was robbed right outside of campus. The incident happened yesterday at around 4.30. According to school officials, a couple of students were returning to Beverly Hills High following an after-school activity. They were approached by the suspects who robbed one of the students near the campus. Police say they believe it was a random crime. The Beverly Hills Unified School District filed a lawsuit in Superior Court to block the work entirely. Additionally, the district pursued legal action in federal court to have the project rerouted. 
After five years of construction and several delays, tunneling for the nine-mile westward extension of LA's Metro D line has been completed, stretching from Koreatown to the new Westwood VA Hospital station. Everyone cheered, and the workers were happy that they did the impossible, in spite of the hesitations and the previous. After 10 years of construction, a major milestone for Metro's Purple Line extension that will connect downtown Los Angeles to the west side. A great way to start a day. I remember when the tunneling began. This $9.5 billion project, started in 2019, will add seven new stations and provide a high speed link between downtown Los Angeles and the west side, an essential area for jobs and commuters. The extension is divided into three phases. Section one, opening in 2025, includes the Wilshire La Brea, Wilshire Fairfax, and Wilshire La Cienega stations. Section two, set for 2026, will have the Wilshire Rodeo and Century City Constellation stations. Section three, to be completed in 2027, will feature the Westwood UCLA and Westwood VA Hospital stations. Metro secured local funding for the project through the voter-approved transportation sales tax measures, Measure R in 2008 and Measure M in 2016. These local funds were matched by federal funding, covering roughly half of the project's total cost. Metro CEO Stephanie Wiggins expressed her gratitude for completing the tunneling work, calling it a triumph of engineering, planning, and execution. She highlighted that the project's success showcases the agency's ability to tunnel beneath various structures and sensitive historical sites safely. The construction team undertook a meticulous process to ensure the safety of everybody in these communities and deliver an improved project for the people of LA. With the tunneling now finished, the focus shifts to constructing the stations, installing electrical systems, and restoring streets. Mayor Karen Bass highlighted this achievement as a crucial step in enhancing public transit across Los Angeles. Karen Bass further said, Today, we celebrate another milestone in our efforts to build our world-class transportation system and improve access throughout Los Angeles. The turning point for the Purple Line extension came with the completion of the tunneling project to extend the D-Line subway from downtown to West Los Angeles. It's been a dream for transit planners and will now amaze the world. During the five-year tunneling period, advanced TBM technology was utilized featuring 400-foot-long machines with a 21-foot diameter that employed closed-face pressurized technology to minimize ground settlement. They also lined the tunnel with precast concrete segments bolted together to form secure water and gas-tight rings, ensuring safety throughout the excavation process. The D-Line extension project is slated to open in 2027 providing Metro Transit access to an additional 53,300 weekday riders traveling between downtown and the west side. The Purple Line Extension Project focuses on a nine-mile stretch of Wilshire Boulevard, targeting some of the busiest and most congested areas. Currently, it takes about an hour to drive from downtown LA to Westwood, but the extension will reduce this trip to just 25 minutes. This $9.5 billion investment includes seven new subway stations, connecting key destinations like jobs, schools, museums, medical centers, and entertainment options, all while avoiding traffic congestion. Who wouldn't love that? The project also overcame significant geographical obstacles, necessitating thorough geotechnical investigations to ensure structural integrity. With tunneling now complete, Metro will continue working with contractors Skanska Trailer Shea and Tudor Perini ONG to finalize seven new underground stations. These stations will span three sections, Wilshire Western to Wilshire La Cienega, Wilshire La Cienega to Century City, and Century City to Westwood. The Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority, Metro, is spearheading the most ambitious transportation infrastructure initiative in the United States, focused on improving mobility through its Vision 2028 plan. As the leading transportation planning and funding agency for LA County, Metro serves nearly 900,000 daily boardings with its fleet of 2,200 low emission buses and six rail lines. 
Completing the tunneling for the D-Line subway extension in Los Angeles brings significant environmental benefits. This project is expected to reduce traffic congestion and emissions by providing a reliable public transportation option, thereby decreasing the number of cars on the road and improving air quality. During construction, sustainable practices were employed, including the use of advanced TBMs that minimized surface disruption and ensured water and gas tight tunnels to protect underground water resources and prevent contamination. The TBMs also reduced noise and vibration, maintaining a higher quality of life for nearby residents. Additionally, the extension is anticipated to promote sustainable urban development, encouraging higher density transit-oriented communities that reduce car travel and preserve green spaces. The new metro stations incorporate energy efficient technologies, lowering the operational carbon footprint. Overall, the D-Line extension represents a critical step towards a more sustainable and environmentally friendly Los Angeles. Successful navigation of LA's $9.5 billion Metro Purple Line challenge stands as a testament to innovative engineering, strategic planning, and community collaboration. The project promises to revolutionize public transportation in Los Angeles and serve as a model for urban transit projects worldwide. By addressing financial, technical, and community challenges head on, Los Angeles has paved the way for a more connected and sustainable future. Are you curious to see how this project transforms LA? What will be the future of LA? Subscribe and stay tuned for updates on the Metro Purple Line extension and other groundbreaking infrastructure projects. Share your thoughts and experiences with public transportation in the comments below.